A number of top Republican lawmakers now warning President Trump against firing Attorney General Jeff Sessions, and they're saying if the president does, they will stand in the way of any new nominee. Among them, the, ch the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Chuck Grassley, who tweeted, Everybody in D.C. should be warned that the agenda for the Judiciary Com is set for the rest of 2017. Judges first, subcabinet second, AG, no way. While there may not be room in the schedule, the Washington Post is reporting that the president is considering the idea of installing a new attorney general through a recess appointment, which would not require Senate approval. Joining me now to make sense of all of this is a man who has everyone's approval, Juan Williams, uh, co-host of The Five on the Fox News Channel at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, welcome back, Juan. Thanks, Kennedy. So what's going to happen here? How realistic is it that the president would relieve the eternal, attorney general of duty and put a new one in by recess appointment? Uh, it's possible. Of course, you have to have the Senate's cooperation because they have to go on recess. And there are ways that they can go about this, especially the Republican majority under Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's uh, tutelage. They could say, we're not really out of session and, you know, keep coming back every few days to keep themselves from opening the door to a recess appointment. Yeah. Democrats also can play a game where they can try to introduce amendments to the recess that prevent the recess from actually taking hold. We'll see what happens, but that possibility exists. The, bigger, the big issue here is getting rid of Sessions so that you can get rid of Mueller. Okay, and, and it seems like, you know, no one's really disputing that that could be the ultimate end because the president is frustrated with the process. And I'll give him the benefit of that. Let's say he feels like he has done nothing wrong right. and this whole thing is happening and it's really screwing up his agenda. Um, how much do you think it would affect his agenda if he actually went through with the recess appointment? So at the very top of this segment, what you talked about was Republican opposition. Chuck Grassley, yeah. chairman of the Judiciary Committee. Quite a few people. Newt Gingrich, Pat Pat Roberts, John Cornyn, Lindsey Graham all yeah. coming out in support of Jeff Sessions and against the president's uh, Twitter bullying. Right. So what you have here is a, is a situation where this would not only disrupt uh, Jeff Sessions in terms of his ouster, it would disrupt the relationship between President Trump and the Senate Republicans. Yeah. Because Jeff Sessions is seen as a true conservative, one of them, and in fact, he was the first Republican senator to endorse Trump. Yeah. So he was helpful in persuading others to go along in supporting Donald Trump. Yeah. And now you're going to see, I think, a collective, almost like a clique, gathering in, in support, circling around Sessions. And that means the legislative agenda that Trump envisions, specifically, we're sort of beyond health care at this point, yeah. tax reform, infrastructure, the budget. tax cuts, budget, all of that is suddenly less possible. Already what you're seeing is on the health care front, Republicans saying, you know, I won my district by larger percentage than Donald Trump did. Yeah. I'm not afraid of you, President Trump. And if now you combine that with I'm angry at you at the way you treated my fellow conservative, that yeah. to you, loyalty is a one-way street, you introduce a personal element into the politics and we're into Game of Thrones. Well, it, it's interesting because I'm one of those people, uh, you know, I'm, I don't believe in the Attorney General's agenda. Right. And, and I, I don't agree with the, the president's appointment of him in the first place. Right. But I do see Jeff Sessions now as a victim. And I think there's probably ironic. A, a lot of Democrats who are possibly also opposed to some of his views on immigration and civil asset forfeiture who are now looking at this going, you can't get rid of Jeff Sessions this way. Right. Well, you know, the thing is, I mean, people like the NAACP, you know, and the Black Caucus on Capitol, they're all opposed to Sessions' agenda, specifically yeah. that war reviving the war on drugs. Yep. But they also say, if, even if you don't like Sessions, he's obeyed the law. You notice everybody who's come out, including Rudy Giuliani, another favorite of President Trump, says yeah. he was right to recuse himself. He had been in the campaign. He'd had these undisclosed contacts with the Russians. Yeah. He did the right thing. Well, and I think a lot of people are worried that the president would appoint uh, Rudy Giuliani, but they, have, they, they forget that he was a federal prosecutor. He was. And he, he was a U.S. attorney, and he understands the, the need for the independency of the Justice Department. And I think Giuliani, if he got in there, he could give the president just as hard of a time as he's perceiving Jeff Sessions to give him. But see, I don't think Trump believes in that legal process. And, you know, I don't know this personally, but what I'm hearing is that people say that the president believes the attorney general is his lawyer. Yeah. And, of course, that's not the case. He's yeah. the lawyer for the American people. He's the top law enforcement officer. Yeah, he is. Yeah. And uh, we will see how this plays out. Yeah. Uh, never a dull moment with this. Wow, the politics. This is a new <laughs> era. It really is.
Very exciting. Well,